All right, welcome to the Ludus um, gaming site. We're going to um, focus on uh, bringing you lots of games, mainly magic, because that's the one thing I really like and enjoy to play. Uh, what I'm going to do is going to do a deck tech um, for EDH. This is Omnath, uh, the Locust of Mana deck. He can just win games outright very quick, general. Um, uh, particularly devastating one-on-one -on -one. in group play uh, you know uh, still can take uh, take over the game and win but uh, is a little susceptible to um, uh, being picked on when people see on that they don't really like him on the board so let's look at the deck I'm running 38 lands um, uh, the only special lands I have here for them Temple of the False God, just two extra mana. Uh, Rogue's Passage uh, uh, gives Mr. Omnath uh, unblockability, which is pretty huge because he can swing for like uh, 30 points of damage in, in no time. Reliquary Tower, so, you know, uh, I'm going to have a bunch of cards in hand. I don't have to get rid of them. And a Buried Ruin just to kind of uh, cycle back uh, an artifact or two. Well, one, really, um, that might um, be of use to me. So let's look at the artifacts. The Basculus Collar. Um, creature has death, touch, or lifelink, really. Uh, this is in here to give me lifelink. Uh, since he's divining top, so I can filter through the deck. This is a staple. It should be just about uh, every EDH deck. Uh, Soul Ring, uh, which is another staple in the format. Uh, a lot of people would argue it's over powered in 1v1 and, and it certainly is when you get it early on uh, not in the late game but uh, early on it's it, it really jumps your head so I can see the argument but it is what it is I don't mind it uh, doubling cube obviously doubling your mana there's a lot of uh, doubling mana stuff so I'll look at those very quickly you have the extra planar lens um, gauntlet of power uh, Cage Sun, all uh, doubling your mana production, because obviously with Omnath it's very important that um, we see his uh, body grow, and uh, the only way to do that is to dump mana to him. Uh, back to the artifacts, we have Lightning Greaves, excuse me, <coughs> Lightning Greaves, so we can get Omnath out right away, swinging, and uh, give him some Shroud. Uh, Nim Death Mantle, now <clears throat> this card combos with a few cards. Um, it can, I mean, you can virtually go um, infinite combo with this if no one interrupts it. Um, and uh, some people don't like that, but it is part of the game. And I like to use it just to control the board, so I'll, I'll go over that right now. You couple Nim with Ashnod's Altar. And would fall Primus. So the way that works is you have these two on the board. The Death Mantle, the Altar, and Primus. You sack Primus to the Altar. Uh, giving you two mana in your pool. Uh, would fall Primus has Persist. Uh, he comes back. Obviously triggering his ability. Um, and then you'll sack him again. To the altar, giving you another two. And he won't come back because he's got a negative uh, one, negative one counter on him. But you'll use the four mana to activate the death mantle. See four mana um, to equip. It returns a creature from your yard back to the playing field and rinse and repeat. I guess after that, so you can pretty much wipe the board other than whatever creature is on there. Um, this is particularly nasty. I use it more to just control cards that I just don't like on the board. Um, you know, and sometimes I use it o over and over and people don't like that. Y you could get quick concedes, but it is what it is. But yes, you can go infinite with that if no one interrupts it. You could also use it with Trastodon. Um, except uh, Trastodon doesn't have persist, so you'll have to have two mana back. Uh, when you do it, and you'll have to do that end of turn. So again, you have uh, 
Death Mental, an Alter Out with Trastodon, uh, end of turn, sack Trastodon, make sure you have two mana, um, untapped, and with Omnath usually you have the mana. And then um, you use that mana, the two plus a two from sacking it to bring it back with Death Mantle, and boom, you get to destroy three non-creature permanents. Again, you know, you can do that. You could do that sort of thing with any of these creatures that have come into play effects um, with that combo. Uh, it's one of the ones that I really like to use in my EDH decks. Because a lot of creatures have come into play effects. Um, so let's look at the uh, the rest of the deck. We have a Rancor. Uh, it just gives uh, Omnath Trample, which is important uh, because he gets really big and beefy and people just throw him under the bus. Or throw blockers under the bus. The tracker just to <clears throat> this is your removal. You know you you have him fight other people. Now, incidentally, tracker couples really well with vigor. You pick any one of your creatures to fight any other creature, no matter what um, power and toughness they may have, and it will automatically grow. So if there's a creature across the board, um, let's take. Primus, for example, is a 6 6. You can um, have Tracker fight Primus, and Vigor will put six counters on the Tracker, which is kind of cool. So there's a bit of a combo there, but it only happens once in a while when uh, you have both cards. That's not something you'd really want to search for. A uh, Naturalize, for obvious reasons. Uh, Shaman, just to cycle through and find all the creatures that you need. Rafelis, uh, which is a staple in any mono green deck, uh, you get double your mana. Or you get one mana for each force you control with him. And if you get him out early game, it's it's pretty much game over. Ah, Tri Builder for mana ramp. Uh, ooze to target cards in yard. Um, so if you have a reanimator deck or something you're facing and the graveyard's really kicking your butt this is one way you can affect it when they target a card in the graveyard you can remove it um, the preserver uh, just ensures that uh, you're not forced to sacrifice permanence which can get annoying um, cultivate for your mana ramp again mana ramp with Kadama's reach beast within should be staple in, in any uh, green deck, mono or multicolored, it destroys any permanent on the instant. So that's key. Corrosion grip. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is anti sensei divining top card, um, and really any other card that's bothering you. It's uh, split second, so uh, no reaction time. Awakening zone to create some tokens. Rights of flourishing just to draw into more land and just put them down. The Dungrove, um, Dungrove Elder, just because he's hexproof, he's tough to deal with, and he gets uh, large fast because you're just running forests. Eternal Witness to cycle and bring back any cards you need from your yard. Uh, Predator Ooze, just indestructible, and this can grow quite uh, fast, especially if you get it out early game. Yeah, you have Maya Elder, this is uh, your card draw, or mana ramp, I should say, sorry. Um, you have your Ori here, just gives everything flash. Solemn, just, you know, you can just abuse him and uh, get all kinds of uh, lands out to play. You're, it's all forced, so he's great. Bramble Crush, just uh, destroy any non-creature permanent, get rid of any card that's bothering you. Uh, explosive Veg, it's uh, Mana Ramp. Harmonize for your card draw. Again, Mana Ramp here. Triumph of the Hordes, you know, uh, in fact, it's part of the game and people don't like it. Uh, I keep this in here because it's a good finisher, especially multiplayer. You know, you get a bunch of creatures on the board. Um, couple that with Kamal and that card you can win the game in one turn it's there it's uh, part of the game so you know uh, I've died to infect many times and uh, I've killed people to infect many times 
So it's a uh, uh, wind condition. A bare umbra, uh, it untaps all your lands. It's just insane. You put that on Omnath, you attack. Um, and then when when he attacks, all the lands on top, and you tap them all down again. And, and he's just ridiculous. You know, you have a bare umbra with a cage sun and gauntlet of power it's it's game over um, venerable bloom uh, tap all force get extra mana brawn uh, he gives omnath trample if he's in the yard so this is uh, uh, my great trumper also good to um, discard to fauna shaman too have elvish piper just to drop your fatties because there are some big fatties in the the top range here oracle um, you can drop more land almost uh, just about a staple in every green deck uh, Yeva just uh, to give all my creatures flash asceticism give all my creatures hexproof and regenerate them uh, acid slime um, that acidic slime sorry um, it's great removal again this is a good card to use with the death mantle and the altar, you know, you can end turn, sack it, pay two mana, bring it back, and and trigger the ability again, and uh, you know, really clear the board of things that are bothering you. Arashi, this is uh, to deal with uh, flyers because really, that's um, one of the weaknesses to this deck is um, uh, ability to deal with evasion. So that's one card. Genesis, another staple. You can uh, return your creatures back from your yard. Seaborn Muse untaps all your land on every turn. Again, growing Omnath to uh, massive amounts. Um, Silklash Spider again to deal with evasion creatures. Um, Duplicant, great um, artifact card. You can just um, exile any creature on board again. Couples with the altar and the death mantle. It's wonderful. Combo Planet Portal is my uh, uh, search engine. I can search for any card with this. Uh, the 12 mana required to use it um, um, rarely is a big problem considering the amount of uh, mana ramp I have. Kamal, just because um, you have a few creatures on board and you can just uh, overrun with uh, mana. And the ability plus three three and trample is uh, pretty huge, and your lands can also become one one creatures. So vigor just kind of protects your creatures from damage. Uh, again, couples with the tracker. Uh, Tooth and nail uh, is a game winner. You know you can resolve this. You should be able to win the game. If you don't, you are um, your. Uh, let's say your uh, playing skills are a little low and should reevaluate your your game skills. This is a card once you get and, and um, resolve, you should be getting your your game winners. So right there, uh, Avengers Zendikar, just because you get lots of land and uh, lots of tokens out with this. Uh, Trash down, get rid of uh, some threats, four and a clicks. Uh, great with Omnath, doubles the mana and slows your opponent down considerably. Woodfall Primus, and then rounding it off, we have Artisan Kozilek. Uh, it just returns a creature from the graveyard to the battlefield. Ulamog, um, I always play with one Eldrazi um, just because you know you can reshuffle your yard and him into it it's great you know someone's playing a mill deck on you is milling you uh, they mill a new mog and everything goes right back into your deck so um, I always play with one it is dirty um, you know I don't like the annihilator ability um, but it is what it is you know it's, it's there and you got to deal with it there are ways to deal with it and people do um, so you shouldn't be too afraid to play this card but anyways, the ability um, that I use it for mainly is the, the shuffling the graveyard and protecting my yard from the mill. Um, and then Genesis Wave, because you can just Genesis Wave sometimes for like 40. I've done that, uh, resolve that, and just 
automatic concedes usually. Um, so that's the deck. Uh, Omnath, Locust of Mana. There's many ways to run this deck. I mean, you could... There's all kinds of um, uh, uh, things out there. There's nothing's wrong. It's a mono green deck. Uh, just make sure you have lots of ramp uh, for uh, Omnath that it can grow. And, um, and then creatures that can help affect uh, situations and affect the board states. So... Uh, that's my deck. Uh, hope you like it. Uh, you can leave some comments. Uh, if not, uh, enjoy. Uh, I'll run some some one v ones with this deck so you can see how it plays out. Uh, keep watching, and we'll see you soon. Peace.